Gemini, how are you? This is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to new viewers and welcome to my Cyber Angels. And thank you very much for coming back and supporting the channel and me. I appreciate it dearly as you know. And I hope you will come into the life more often more Geminis. Oh, because it is awesome. There's more Geminis becoming members of the channel. Great stuff. I'm pleased with all my uh, uh, cyber angels and viewers, of course. So click on the subscription button if you already haven't, and click on all, because then you'll get notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. There's about 5,000 of you, 6,000 that haven't, uh, uh, well, you have subscribed, but you haven't clicked the bell. So please click the bell and join the cyber family. It's awesome uh, in the tea room, the live chat, and uh, you can get free cards. And if you've got a specific question, then I'll, I'm pleased to answer it after a donation with a super chat or a super sticker. Now, if you would like to have uh, an extended reading, then please go uh, below the video in the description box, and there you can find all the information, or on this white dot in the corner. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot today, and the Angel Feather and Archangel Michael, and the Healing uh, Power of the Angels. And it is in Dutch, this one, and the pretty big cards, and uh, if you... Uh, I'll go into that in a minute, that's this one, that's the back of it. And I hope you're all well and safe. Thank you very much for sharing and liking. And I'm also using the crystal ball. I did clean the crystal ball before I started. As you see, I've got the oracle cards ready, but I'm doing the shaking of the tarot um, after I've done the crystal ball and see whether it uh, comes together. You'll get more information. Okay, here we go, my darlings just for luck, rub over it. Okay, let's have a look. I will be turning the ball slowly. Ooh. There's a lot of glitter, a lot of gold. Bubbles, I see bubbles. Are you thinking too much again, Gemini? Are you too much in your head? Are you waiting for news or something? to burst open, a new start. It's like, boom, it's happened. Either you've done something and it's been a great success, or something is unexpectedly going to explode. But it will bear fruit because, like I said, I see a lot of bubbles uh, glitter. It's golden glitter as well. So there might be more money coming in, perhaps promotions. I'm also seeing dolphins, dol two dolphins, they're coming together. There's like two black points here that are coming together, and then when I blink my eyes, they're gone. So it's going to be, uh, you, you yourself might be coming together because you are a, um, a double sign, two people in one sign. Um, no, it's not. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Although I'm a Gemini myself, it's like you're coming back into your power. It's like you're coming back into your power. You you are balanced. That's coming together. You're balanced. You feel secure. You're in your strength. Awesome, Jenny. Awesome. We've had a pretty hard time the last year. Last year, definitely. And this year it is improving. Okay. Now there might be a fork in the road, um, and that could mean a fork in the road that could be an obstacle, but you might have more choices than one. Which way are you going to go? Boom. Keeps on going on the paths, paths, new ideas, perhaps. Which path you're going to take? 
You're going to be really, really busy though. I see most five dots, five blobs. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the bubble. It, like I said, the bubbles bursted, but five things have settled. I just see one after another, and then one loose from the four others. So it might thi four things might come straight away, like the um, eight of uh, ones. It doesn't rain, it pours, and then afterwards, after a period, something else will come. So it could be a finalization of something after four events. So the fifth will come later. I, I know it sounds crazy, but that's why I take the tarot card to confirm what I'm seeing. But you are going to make it because I'm seeing a lot of gold. It's like the cosmos. Perhaps you're more spiritual. Uh, perhaps you're going in getting into spirituality or astrology or astronomy. I'm reading for thousands of people and so it won't resonate to all. So if it doesn't resonate with you, Gem, then go and have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. I, my moon sign is Taurus and my rising sign is Cancer. Let me know what you are. If you want to find out what your rising sign is, uh, I think I'm going to make a separate video and I'm going to um, put all the uh, a very good website for astrology to find out your chart. It's free of charge what your rising sign is. You know we're Mercury, we're Mercury. Right, I'm going to, you're seeing me shaking the cards and I'm going to take the top and you've got the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is an advisor. Could be professional, it could be a father figure, it could be a teacher, could be a doctor, it could be a lawyer, it could be an advocate, uh, it could be a social worker. Uh, but it's usually a man because the Hierophant is a man and also it could be an Aries because the Hierophant is, represents also Aries. Now Aries is a fire sign and they can, uh, sorry, it's uh, the Hierophant is Taurus, so Taurus, Taurus, I do get things mixed up now and again, so that was the top, uh, so, I, but I got Aries, so I don't know why, um, but it could be an Aries, it's a strong person around you, that could be your advisor or could be your father or an uncle. Um, and they're really strong people because they go for what they want and they'll get their um, the fire signs I find is a lot like the air signs the air signs will go straight through to the core sometimes without thinking but the fire signs will take action and try to get through to the core they will get there because they go for what they want but it is a Taurus so you might also get advice from a Taurus then you have the daughter of cups which is the page, the ugly duckling? Now, the ugly duckling, I think they're beautiful, they're cute. So you might get news, emotional news. Um, this could be from a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Uh, you will get news, it could be about a job offer, it could be about something that you're passionate, so passion is hobby, it could be about a love, a new passion, somebody that admires you, but uh, uh, the water signs, This uh, the page is uh, Pisces, so it could be uh, from a Pisces, but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio. Um, so, you know, um, you might be hearing news, uh, uh, an emotional news like love or passion uh, from uh, a water sign, they fancy you or something. Now I'm going to take something from the middle or the bottom and we've got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, look the horse lets his head hang. He's depressed. So don't be depressed. The Five of Cups means don't cry over spilled milk. Now somebody read m my cards yesterday and this is from the top of the deck uh, it, around here and you've got the Father of Pentacles and that's the King of Pentacles. 
Now, I had the Five of Cups in my reading and I had the King of Cups. This is crazy. How energy comes back for the Geminis. Okay, and the bottom of the card is the Magician. Okay, there you go. So let's get into the reading, okay? On Monday the 4th, you have the Hierophant. I will show you the cards because I love the drawings, okay? Could be all of a sudden because you've got a thunderbolt here. So you might get advice or seek advice all of a sudden, okay? Again, you've got a 5 here. So we've got two 5s. So 5 and 5 is 10. So something might be coming to an ending. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. So you might be seeking advice from an older, mature man. This could be an older brother, um, an uncle, a father. But you could also seek um, professional advice. And this could be, like I said, Aries came out first of all, so I must take that. Or this could come from a Taurus as the Hierophant or the High Priest as it's also called represents Taurus. Now we've got the ugly duckling, but I think he's cute. I love it. Or she. Um the daughter of cups and that is the page of cups. Now the queen is Scorpio and the king is Cancer. But uh, and when I um, somebody somewhere along the line with the tarot cards made uh, the bigger Kana and the uh King, Queen and Page um, related them to the zodiac signs but don't exclude the other two darlings okay so there might be news about something that you're passionate that's something that you've been waiting on uh, let's say you've been waiting for a parcel something to start a new hobby or to read a, a, a book of a favorite author Woo, Gemini it is exciting, you're getting news, it's coming to you. Okay, so it could be a present from a, a water sign or something that you're nurturing about. Or even because water, star, uh, water signs also stand for uh, sexy and sensuality. So you might be beautifying, so you might have bought an article um, in the web shop and it's being sent to you to beautify yourself, to nurture yourself like the water signs do so you might be receiving news or your parcel great stuff love I love the way the cards work now there's um, well I said choices in the crystal ball so you have a choice to get advice perhaps beauty beautician advice or advice about a study this could be a teacher or a career officer so there's more choices than one definitely you are leaving the past behind, Gemini, or you're thinking about the past. But don't cry over spilled milk, my darlings. Okay? The fi usually with the Five of Cups, you have two standing and three are fallen over. But now they are... And I've got... I see a V here, right? So you've got victory. You will have victory um, if you pick up the two cups and you carry on. You can change the present you can change the future so don't you still have something tangible okay you've got your health you've got your your talents you've got perhaps a, a, a house of your own or renting a place um, you've got so much more look at what you have and don't look at what you don't have look at what you can have because you can extend the five cups again to ten so perhaps you might be starting a, a workshop or um, a company or going back to school. Then you, if you're starting your own company, then you need advice like bookkeeper, legalities, you name it. Then that is on Friday. At the weekend, you have the King of Pentacles, the Father of Pentacles. Now look at him. He's got great big beautiful horns. And he's got the color of fire, of sun. The uh, uh, orange is action, secretal. Uh, that's the secretal chakra. Then you've got the yellow chakra. That's like gold because everything he touches turns to gold. But it's also the solar plex, the chakra of enjoyment. And you've got green. So green is healing and money. 
and I think there's also a bit of blue and brown blue is the throat chakra Archangel Michael and we're using the Archangel Michael cards today so you are communicating is the throat chakra blue you can communicate and you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos that's why you can make things turn to gold or to success great stuff or you might be the king of tentacles that is Taurus again Taurus Taurus okay but don't forget Virgo or Capricorn you might be meeting an earth sign and you've got the magician you can make your dreams come true Gemini okay wow you've got all the elements in front of you to make your dreams and goals come true it's number one okay the magician and it's looks like the Sun you're in the spotlight so ooh, you're getting uh, yeah if you are in judicial situation it will be positive news okay you could be in a divorce because it's emotional so it will be okay there will be justice justice will be done there will be a new beginning okay there could be a new beginning with a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn but Taurus is coming out in your reading Gemini all right and because I said Aries there could be somebody somebody could be in Aries or having Aries in their chart so what has come together choices different uh, paths four things coming and uh, now I'm relating to the fourth cards and bang you've got the big thing here the magician you can make it work do you see and I didn't even th think about that okay now you've got five and five that makes ten so that it you're getting back into your balance you're seeking advice good to get back and get that new beginning Wow okay and you've got initiation number 35 initiation and you've got all the chakras there as well you've got a lot of color in your reading it's also relating to emotions healing grounding yourself finding yourself beautiful okay and initiation initiation perhaps in a university a school a new job this could be initiation uh, into uh, uh, a group uh, perhaps you're high you you are transforming uh, you yeah um, life changes there's beginnings and endings there's also getting the balance you see the three steps the birth life and death so it's a, like a circle go through the archway see what is in front of you and know that the divine light and angels is with you and it, it and you've got every single moment you know um, you are growing constantly and life is going on and on and enjoy the e uh, evolutionary um, phases every phase like from baby to toddler from toddler to a uh, uh, child from child to teenager every single phase in life has its rewardings rewardings and uh, teachings now you've got justice and truth and what did I say if you're in a divorce or if you're in ju legalities <laughs> you get results your dreams are coming true justice and truth is from the Archangel Michael card and it's a spiritual card because it's purple and I was just telling you you might be initiated in something perhaps spiritual you might be um, being more aware of your intuitiveness or new ideas okay gems skills are balanced you've got the golden key Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key this sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and the skills of justice are balanced there you go 
beautiful so use that key you've got the key in your own hand that's what I'm getting to hear you're the magician you're going to make the choices you're coming together like I said in the beginning the two of you are coming together perhaps two people are coming together I said as well but I think it's your higher self your spirituality your emotions your heart is opening up again to new things and you've got the golden angel card wow full circle full circle I promise you on my heart that I do not sort out the cards to my advantage because I'm a gem I'm very careful about that because I never do that in general but I definitely don't I don't do the reading for myself let me put it that way I do the reading for all my gems and they sometimes they're bad uh, like last year um, but this year they're generally very good full circle the angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you have put in so your work is going to pay off the king of pentacles and the magician you are transforming from an ordinary human into a spiritual being the gold angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of transformation initiation also being transformed okay a cycle has been completed full of learning and growing and growth the angels are aware of your high values you have maintained throughout you've been true to your sign Gemini just justice clarity communication thinking okay of your spiritual mu uh, maturity and wisdom are the blessings for enduring this phase of your life this angels the angels now usher, usher in golden energy that will renew your spirit in readiness for brighter and easier days now relax and enjoy life gold the king of pentacles everything he touches turns to gold again gold the word gold is prominent here now uh, you can uh, wear crystals and that will enhance your detoxification stress levels blood pressure for example making yourself more relaxed being able to meditate more properly so amber gold calcite topaz goldstone sulfur <coughs> citron gold tiger's eye those are all the stones that you can use um, with this angel card and the angel for the golden card is uh, and I talked I was talking about Archangel Jovial there you go Archangel Jovial the angel of enlightenment and Archangel Sandalphon the angel of power and of course Archangel Michael and also because he's turning up and Jovial Wow amazing okay now there's a lot of yellow in your reading you've got a lot of yellow okay I know you could have had another card but this is prominently yellow and I'm talking about your higher self there's also purple stars amazing I love this reading I really do I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and please share and like with family and friends and I hope you to see you in the live sessions and please uh, show your gratitude uh, by giving us the thumbs up or liking and sharing with family and friends thank you very much take care be blessed and stay well